So in an effort to be obedient to the Lord and just be more active on my social media in this next phase of my life, why don't you come along and let's chat while I straighten my hair. <laughs> First off, I want to preference by saying that like being obedient to God is going to cost you. It's going to cost you your will. It's going to cost you your uh, your own selfish desires. And it's just going to cost you your life. But I think we can rest in the fact that the Lord said that anyone who, and I'm paraphrasing, but he said anyone who forsakes houses and cars and lands and family for my sake and for the gospel's sake, there is a reward. Okay, there is a reward in heaven for them. So there is a reward in serving the Lord. Nothing we do, it, it, nothing we do goes unnoticed by God or goes un, or goes un, just look at my mirror over here, or goes un, um, unseen by him. He's very intentional. He's an intentional God and he's a mindful father. And so when you talk about submitting your will, submitting your um your own earthly desires listen god got something in reward for you because of your sacrifice so let's just stop thinking that things go unnoticed by god because they definitely don't go unnoticed if anything he is keeping track of everything you say and everything you do so let's just stop right there Okay, and before I continue on, I'm just going to change my shirt because it's about to get really hot and I will do that and be right back. Okay, so I am all changed. I actually went ahead and parted my hair because we got to work this thing in sections, right? So when I'm working my hair, I like to work from the back to the front and I like to work from the nape of the neck to the, um, from the nape of the neck up. And then from side to side. So I split my hair into four sections. And then I go in and uh, flatter accordingly. And again, like I said, um, or maybe I didn't say. I'm actually going to use two two different flatterns. I'm using one. And this is my <laughs> um, old and faithful flattern. I'm going to use that for the nape of the neck just so I can get a really close, uh, really close press. And then I'm using my, my baby bliss to go down the shaft of the hair. I use it on pretty high heat, but I also um, use a heat protectant. So I do double heat protectant. I use a heat protectant that I use when I get fresh out of the shower. Um, and that one is by Chi, I believe. I use that when I get fresh out of, um, while I'm in the shower after I condition. I put that in my hair for about five minutes and I'll rinse that out with cool water. And then when I get out of the shower with freshly washed hair, I will use this Olaplex bombing oil. I use about four drops per side, not per section, but per side. And then I let that sit till my hair is like, I don't know, 50% dry. And then after it's 50% dry, I'll go in and um, blow dry. And then I will flat iron my hair. Not that you ask for all of that, but I, um, I've been told that if I have long hair, that I should be sharing my tips, my secrets. So <laughs> that's a little bit, I double thermal heat protectant so that, um, I'm really like protecting the longer part of my hair, but back to being obedient to God. Like for real, y'all, the enemy would have us to believe that God isn't mindful of us or that God is not concerned about us or that God does not see the things that we struggle with or the things that we um, are concerned with. No, it's a reason why he's called a liar. He's the father of lies. And. He would love for you to believe all of those lies. But 
But the truth is the very opposite of that. And so I always tell people when I'm ministering to them is that whenever the enemy tells you a lie, believe the opposite of it. Because the opposite of the, of the lie is actual truth. And the truth is God knows, God sees, God cares. And you know what else? He responds. He responds. Let's just think about a biblical example of that. Do you remember in the word of God where Abraham, right? He, the Lord promises Abraham that he's going to have a, a child. Abraham is of old age. It still doesn't happen. So Abraham and Sarah, they decide to come up with their own solution to help God problem solve as if God needs help. So in an effort to do or help God out, <laughs> they decide to recruit, re recruit Hagar. Hagar is a servant of the house and... Sarah decides to tell Hagar, okay, you go be with Abraham. You go have a, um, marital affairs while we're on TikTok with Abraham. And then we'll get a, we'll get us a child that way. We'll, we'll help God out. So they do this thing. Hagar gets pregnant. Hagar has a child. The name of this child is Ishmael. And when you read the story, the Bible says that it created tension in the household. And they put Hagar out. Hagar is wandering in the wilderness. She prays to the Lord. And the Bible says that God spoke to her he gave her an answer to her prayer and Hagar's response was that God is Jehovah El Roi and that is translated as he's the God who sees so the Bible says that the things that were recorded and written beforehand were written for our learning for our edification and we can learn from the life and the story of Hagar that God sees us, that he's intentional about us, and he is very concerned when we're concerned. Okay, so we got one half done. I'm just going to go ahead and start on the other half after I go through and part out... Um, I just want to fix my middle part because I think we're going to go with the middle part. It seems to give me the... Oops. The sleekest look that I like to go for. And I just find when I have a middle part that my hair is out of my face. And yeah, oh, we got some, we got some visitors. My hair is out of my face and I can really just kind of maneuver and do what else I need to do with it okay so I'm just gonna straighten this middle part and then we're gonna move on to the other side and then we will be done with our straightening of our hair in our little story time so what we can take away from our little story time is the fact that God sees you he hears you he understands you but most of all, he responds.